All right, hi everyone. Welcome to Elite Dangerous. There's a game here somewhere. I'm going to be playing it. This is a great simulator of the Milky Way galaxy with the game strapped to it. Um, it can be a lot of fun. It can be a little frustrating at times, but uh, we're going to try to find some fun. Uh, let's get started. I'll be explaining things as I go along. I'm not going to sit here and explain everything before we get started. We're just going to get started. It starts out here and it puts us in a tutorial. And uh, we're not going to do the tutorial. I recommend if this is your first time playing the game to do the tutorial. So I'm going to say skip training. And we'll say yes. And it's going to ask me for my name. I already have my main account is Tolacram. So we'll be Tolacram the second. Mail. And we will continue. And I'm going to go ahead and take the Horizons version. Uh, all versions of the game that you buy now have Horizons included. Uh, it's currently on sale on Steam for like 8 bucks. Uh, and besides, uh, this gives you more free stuff that you can always remove if you need to. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that and we'll continue. And the ship name is going to be Wedge because it looks like a wedge. Also, it looks like a doorstop. Uh, and the ship ID is going to be, um, I don't know, WDG01. There we go. Very creative, don't you think? Uh, confirm. All right. Now when we get in, uh, this Theo Acosta dude is going to talk to me for a minute. I'm like, I'm going to wait until he's done and then we'll continue. I, I just want to point out, it looks like they use fluorescent lights here. Don't you think they would have switched to LED in the future? All right, he's done. It's good information. Uh, little tips on how to navigate some of the interface at the start of the game. Okay, we're full of fuel. I know for a fact, but we will double check, that we're going to go to uh, the Moss and Dock, as he, as he described there. Um, on these screens, you use the... Uh, I'm all keyboard and mouse. Let's get that out of the way first. I have a uh, HOTUS, I think they call it. It's a throttle and a joystick kind of combined thing. I don't use it. I can't stand slapping it on the desk. So I'm all keyboard and mouse. Um, you use the uh, Q and E keys to navigate through the tabs here. Um, we have transactions. We have the mission, Welcome to the Galaxy. I can go up and down here. Then I can uh, right, arrow, right with the D key. Go over here, Welcome to the Galaxy. You can see that we're going to be given 10,000. All we have to do is fly here, which is pretty much what I'm going to do. I don't think there's going to be any missions that we can stack to go to Moss and Dock, but we'll check it out. Anyway, let's open the Galaxy map. Uh, it is targeted on the Drami system. Make sure it doesn't flip out and go somewhere else. The Galaxy map can be kind of weird sometimes. Um, all these systems with the little wings over it is the newbie area. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, we start out here, and once we leave this area and dock at uh, somewhere else, we lose our permit to come back here ever. So this is the area where all new players start, and it's isolated from the rest of the game. Um, so anyway, we have system maps for most of these starting areas. So let's go ahead and open the system map instead. So I'm actually going to set a bookmark to Moss and Dock. So you can see I've got it highlighted here, right there. Let's go up here and set a bookmark. Then uh, I've tabbed over to the bookmark tab here. You can see this is the map, uh, the information, the bookmarks, and then information about current targets in this system. We're going to go over here to Moss and Dock. I'm going to edit it so I can change the name. Uh, make sure to unhighlight it. And we're going to say... Um, Temporary home. There we go. Save it. Okay. Now, wherever I am, even if I'm back out at the galaxy map, if I highlight the bookmarks, set this, I can plot a route here. So let's go ahead and plot the route, even though it was already plotted. There we go. Let's plot it again. All right. And that's that's all I'm going to do. We have a thousand bucks to our name. Um, and uh, we can actually see that over here at the home screen here. We can see that... Uh, I have a thousand dollar balance and I'm not going to spend it at all. So uh, let's go out. Um, oh, one more thing I want to check over here is that in the ship tab down at flight assistance, flight assist is going to be on, auto dock on, auto launch on, hyperspace dethrottle I'm keeping off, and super cruise assist I'm keeping off. I'm going to dump the whole super cruise assist module, which does both of this, these. Uh, as soon as we get to Mawson, because I don't like it. I think it slows the game down. I'm keeping the auto dock uh, just because uh, it's convenient. But at some point, let me launch here. At some point in the future, I'm going to get rid of the auto dock module because I'm going to need that slot for something else. Um, and so, so you're going to need to learn to dock manually. 
but uh, right now we'll use it. It wasn't in the game the last time I played. Alright, you always want to go out on the green side. And as long as we don't queue up, we launch immediately. If it queued me up, I just hit the accelerator, which deactivates auto launch, and uh, get out of here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to hit the accelerator right now. Slow down for auto launch. I don't think so. All right, I'm going to hit tab to boost to get away. We're mass locked right now, so we can't jump. I'm also going to use the up arrow to put all my pips in the engine. You can see the little pips on the lower right, uh, just to the left of the fuel gauge. This is in system. Shields is what I consider this. This is all in weapons. This is all in engine. Hit it down to reset. This gives you more power for each of those that you put the pips in. It's, some, it's a way to manually regulate where your ship power goes. It also lets things recharge faster. So I'm gonna hit tab again. Uh, now, uh, in the little compass to the upper left of the radar there, you see that we have a hollow circle. That means the target we want is behind us. So I'm gonna spin and I'm gonna go up. You see how slow we're slowly making it to the target. That's because I'm going at full speed, which is not the quickest way to maneuver. Uh, there's the station right there. We're, we're going to be going below that. Um, if I lower the throttle down into the blue zone, particularly into the middle of the blue zone, you can see our maneuverability is much greater. That blue zone represents where it's uh, the easiest to maneuver. Um, your ship always goes faster up and down the left and right so that if we were trying to chase somebody I would turn if I wanted to go this way I would turn and then go up and turn and go up and down and then turn and go over to, to draw me here anyway now that we're all dizzy um, we want to go up to full speed you have to be at full speed to jump so we'll go up to full speed we'll hit the J key and we're jumping to draw me Now, I've got the X key bound to zero throttle, the C key bound to 75% throttle, and the B key bound to 25% throttle, but I don't know why I did that, because I never used 25% throttle. Anyway, I'm going to hit X just before we jump out here so that we stop and don't go flying straight into the sun. And uh, we can see the target up there on the little compass. I'm going to aim up there, and I'm going to start moving. And uh, I'm going to move at full speed, but see how this, the minutes are dropping? Moss and Dock, 58 light seconds away, and uh, one minute and falling rapidly. You never want that to get below seven seconds at full speed, or, or you're going to fly right by it. So as we get down to H7, right there at 7, I hit the C key to go to 75% throttle, which is the safe throttle amount, because now it'll pretty much auto slow down the throttle so you don't go flying past your destination. This is some sort of game physics that I'm sure has an explanation somewhere, uh, but it is what it is. So uh, if you stay at 100% throttle, you're gonna fly right by your target. And uh, that's called the loop of shame, I believe, where you have to stop, turn around and come back. Now, I don't wanna go too close to the planet because planets slow you down. Anything of, uh, of a lot of mass slows you down. So you can see the dot there where most of the dock is. So we're gonna come straight in at it like this so I don't get slowed down too much by the planet. This is not super necessary unless you're coming in really close, but I like flying around, so it's fun. Uh, when we get down below one mm, meter, minutes, M millimeters. <laughs> there, jump to disengage, there we are. Now this is where auto dock really comes in handy because I don't know where the front is. Uh, I have a feeling the front, there I see a ship over there, see that? I have a feeling the front is right over here, but I don't have to worry about it because I have auto dock. So let's hit X to stop, go over here, hit contacts, say hey man, request docking, there we go. It'll dock for me, hands free. I can hit the middle mouse button and I can look around. This little starter ship, man, it gets a bad name. There's not a lot you can do with it, but boy, I like the cockpit. The view is great, because you have a lot of visibility straight up. And, uh, you know, who doesn't like to look around when we're out of dock? And it's a very good looking game, and uh, very realistic for what it does. Um, you know, it's the future, so it's not realistic, but it sure does look realistic.
All right, uh, we are clear for landing pad 41. So if I was doing this manually, I make sure to line up on the, where the green lights are. That's sometimes on the right, sometimes on the left, depending on your orientation. Who? Somebody going in front of us? Why are we slowing down? Why are we backing up? What is Autodoc even doing? You're drunk. This is worse than me. This is worse than me flying. <laughs> All right, so we're coming in, and uh, where is uh, 40? I wonder if 41 straight down. Uh, these are the hardest to find. The computer just knows where 41 is. I'd probably be flying around in here searching all over for it. All right, we've landed. Oh, there's Theo again. I thought he said Theo Acosta. Is that our silent? Arcosta? We'll call him Theo Arcosta. I'm sure it'll make him mad if I call him that. Good. I'm going to fill up with fuel first. That's the first thing I always do so I don't forget. All right. Now, um, I still have the mouse uh, loose. We'll hit the middle mouse button again. We'll lock it to the center. Uh, we'll go ahead and go below because I'm going to want to go to outfitting in a minute. And then we'll contact Starport Services while that's going on. Do, 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 do. All right. Mission board. Let's turn in our first mission. Welcome to the galaxy for 10,000 credits. Thank you very much. He's so proud of me. I've proven that I can fly from point A to point B. <laughs> I'm pretty much an expert at this game. Yeah, I think he, I think the R is silent in his name. Interesting. All right, it's uh, Truman Forbes, everybody. Hi, Truman. So we've got our first mission down. All right, so that next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to outfitting. We've got 10,000. What are we going to do here? Well, let me tell you something. Uh, first, uh, we're not going to go there. We're going to go to optional internal. I'm not going to be using the planetary vehicle hangar, but they gave us one for free, so I will uh, store it. There we go. In this empty size 2 slot, I'm going to go ahead and buy another cargo rack so we can make some additional money uh, as we head to our second ship here. There we go. Uh, we've got a shield generator in the first slot, a cargo rack in the second slot. So we have this loaned cargo rack over here. We have Super Cruise Assist. This is the one I want to get rid of. I mean, they gave it, they loaned it to me, so I'll just store it. I want it out of there. We're keeping the advanced docking computer, and you can get rid of that. You, you can get rid of this, but you can't use this slot for anything else. This was the slot they added for Horizons. And we'll just keep it so we can land on planets sometime in the future. All right. Uh, let's let's see how to swap. See how this? I don't like this the, the fact that this is empty up here. This is silly, but um, this just shows you how to use the swap. Let's swap this one up to here. Just moves it. There we go. And uh, so we have four, five, six. Let's buy two more. All right, we can now carry uh, ten. We can carry ten tons of stuff, and uh, we've got everything we need here. Now, can we upgrade any of this? Uh, we can't upgrade any of this. Let's go back to Core Internal. We have 5,721 credits. The rebuy cost, which is also called the insurance cost, is 67. That means if I die, the ship gets destroyed. You don't really die. They kind of make it so that you eject. And then I guess you just uh, somebody rescues you and you show up at a dock. That's what we'll pretend anyway. Um, uh, if you, As long as you have 67 credits, you can buy back the ship in the exact same state that you had it with everything that you bought. So I want to upgrade some of this stuff to lessen the weight. Um, these sensors, for instance, 1E sensors, let's upgrade them to 1D. Doesn't do anything basically except uh, decrease the rate, the uh, weight, it increases the range a little bit, uh, increases our jump uh, distance a little bit. Let's go ahead and buy that. Let's go ahead and upgrade our power distributor. This will help us uh, regen power faster and uh, be able to distribute power a little better to the different modules. Um, uh, it's, it doesn't, we could store it, but there's really no need to because I'm not gonna use a one, a one size power distributor anymore. So we'll just exchange it. There we go. And then uh, life support. We'll go ahead and get the 1D life support for 1200. And there we go. And now you can see our, uh, our Current jump range is above 10, so where if we're empty, we can jump uh, a maximum distance of 10 light years between jumps. That doesn't mean all the fuel you have, that's just how the distance you can jump in one single jump. All right, 
So we did that. I don't really want to spend the money upgrading anything else right now. All right. So let's go back and look at the mission list. And what do we have? I'm not doing any mining this early in the game. Um, source and return five units of conductive fabric. Source and return two units of coffee. Source and return three units of grain. Source and return two units of uranium. And then two units of... Perf Aha, here's Matet. So this is deliver two units of performance enhancers to Matet for 40 grand. This is a good one. Uh, this needs two storage size. And this will be back to the uh, Coelho station. So let's go ahead and accept this. All right. And uh, because we're this is a special cargo that we're picking up here, we're taking to this screen. We want to collect all two items. Hit this. It turns red. And uh, we're done. We've collected all of them. All right. Now, um, it says source and return to units of coffee. I believe Matet manufactures coffee. I don't know if they manufacture conductive fabrics or not, or grain. We could do grain and coffee, so well, let's do this. Let's go to the commodities market. Let's say that we want to sell, all right, uh, beer, liquor, wine, oh, beer. Uh, where's coffee? Industrial materials, here we go, coffee. Um, so if we click on this, you can see produced by Matet at the uh, Coelho station. Yep, so we can buy it there. So good, this, this is good. Um, so we know we want to do the coffee, and uh, they have grain here as well, uh, I believe. Yep, Matet, um, Coelho Station. Also, the globe by Matet says I've already accepted a mission that is going to take me back there. So this is kind of a clue. All right, so we can do grain as well. So let's hit the mission board up again and say, all right, source and return two units of coffee for $27,000 for two tons of coffee. Except, all right, deliver six units. Ah, some new missions popped up, right? I didn't see these before. All right, source and return three units of grain. Let's take this because this doesn't require any cargo space. And we know uh, Matet has grain. And then uh, I don't know where uranium is, but uh, deliver six units of agromedicines to Matet. Let's do it. Um... Yeah, this cargo is unique to the mission. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. And uh, let's grab all six. Cargo hold's not full yet. I think we have two left. Yeah, six, seven, eight. And so what else do we have here uh, to Matet? Uh, that's six. I need two units of something. And it doesn't look like we have two units of anything. So that's going to be it. We have a little extra cargo space. I might be missing something here, but... Uh, let's not spend too much time doing this. Uh, all right, so we're delivering all these performance enhancers, agromedicine. There's usually a also deliver two performance enhancers, but there's not. Um, oh, here's a uh, courier job available to deliver data to uh, Otagine. Almost always go to uh, Otagine sometime at the beginning of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and take this because this is data will be stored on your computer. It will not require any cargo space. Yep. Uh, this is enough for now. We have two missions. I have a third, but it doesn't go back to Matet. And uh, deliver six units, deliver three, deliver two units of performance enhancers to Matet. All right, so I've been uh, looking through a bunch of missions here, and enough time expired that it redid the missions. And here's another, deliver two units of performance enhancers to Matet for 39, 40,000 almost. I have two cargo space left, so I will do it. She will tell me that the cargo hold is at maximum capacity. So I'm now carrying as much as I can carry. So let's go back to Matet. All right. So uh, let's go over to here and let's look at our transactions here. And let's just pick. Here's one of the performance answers. One tells me I need to go to uh, pick it up here and take it to Coelho. Stay Coelho. Coelho. Okay. Station. Uh, open the galaxy map. Um, that is in Matet. Let's bring up the system map. Uh, there's the station out here. Let's click on it and route directly to the station. And we're full of fuel, so let's take off on a launch. Now, because we're carrying cargo, there is a slight chance that an NPC or a player, because we aren't, you, you do start out in open mode, will try to interdict us 
and uh, grab our cargo, kill us, whatever they want to do. Uh, so we may have to do some avoidance. All right. Excellent. Let's get on here. Hurry up. No, I'm not waiting in a queue. No, 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 no. I don't care. I don't care who's behind me. Slow down. Yeah, we're fine. See? No problem. You really want to stay below 100, because if I hit somebody and killed them, I would have been uh, charged with murder. Which is totally unfair, in my opinion. Anyway, let's do four pips in the engine. Let's try to get away from here to get unmass locked. Let's point back to Matet. There we go. And uh, we're still mass locked. We can do another boost. And... So see on the, on the fuel gauge, see how it's lit up in blue there at the top of the fuel? That's how much fuel we're going to use to go to uh, Matet. Um, as soon as we jump, that'll use up the fuel. Never let your fuel get down to zero because you can get stranded in the game. And there is a group called the Fuel Rats whose sole job is to give you fuel for free. It's like a, uh, a role-playing thing that uh, this group's been around for years and years. Uh, where all they do is you contact the fuel rat rats on their webpage and uh, they'll go out and uh, give you fuel to rescue. But we're going to try to avoid that. Alright, I'm hitting the X key to throttle. Actually, I'm not going to hit any key to throttle down. I'm just going to frantically try to avoid hitting the star at full speed when we come in. It'll be great. We want to go uh, this way. So turn, 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 turn. Alright, no problem. Leo Station. And again, we're at full speed, so as we get up, oh, that's the ship I'm looking for, the one with the big haul. Dude, I've got a little teeny ship. That's an NPC. Uh, players would have commanders in front of their names. That's an NPC. So he's going to try to interdict me here and kill me. And uh, we're going we're gonna to see if we can avoid that. Um, I don't know where he is. I don't see him on the map yet. Um, he'll just appear suddenly, I think. Anyway, oh. I almost forgot to hit C before we got below 7 seconds. Otherwise, we would have been interdicted for sure. Uh, I still don't see him. <laughs> there he is. Alright, so see the escape vector? I'm trying to stay in the escape vector. Oh, this guy's a wimp. Oh, he's gonna get me. No, he's gonna get me. I'm trying to get the blue above the red lines so that I can avoid interdiction. Yep. Oh, get it. And about there. There we go. No problem. Yep, he's done. Interdiction evaded. And I passed up the station anyway. So let's go. I'm still at 75% speed. So... There's where I was headed. Alright. So that showed that. That was interesting. Usually fairly easy to avoid. Uh, but you know, that's, that's where the dangerous part comes in, right? Where is the station? It's going to have to be to the right and maybe behind that planet. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to come in like so. Actually, it looks like we're almost on top of it already. Yeah, we'll, we'll do what I usually do. And remember, this isn't really necessary. Uh, I just like to do it. Because I'm, I'm trying to get the fastest run to the station possible. plan is about overhead now, so we'll just zoom right in. He must have really wanted these performance enhancers. Go figure. I'm, t I'm carrying a, I, some, some drugs in the cargo. Go figure we'd be interdicted, right? Alright. Hey. Uh, so I know where the entrance to this station is. And I'm just about within 7.5. Yeah, let's go ahead and request. Uh, let's go ahead and request auto docking. Request docking. And we're given pad 44. I have to slow down to enable auto dock. Uh, we'll let it get me around. Don't run me into the auto dock. Yeah, don't run me into the the thing. It can do this. It occasionally is bugged out and can run me right into this. Which it looks like it's going to do. Break. Well done. Well done, Autodoc. Alright. No, we want to we wanna actually cancel Autodoc. 
Alright. Alright, good. Auto dock is now off. My shields are recharging. It went absolutely crazy. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna turn auto dock off. There. See? Everything's fine now. <laughs> And uh, except I kind of knew that was going to happen because it sometimes happens. Where, what are you, what are you even talking about? Did you see what just happened? All right, we're going to, we're going to slow down to approach speed and we're going to manually dock and try not to kill ourselves. So uh, the ship haul is still at 98%. We did lose shields because I hit the, uh, I hit the, the, the station there three or four or five times. And then, uh, ship lady went crazy and turned assist on and off and I tried to turn assist on and off and I just made it worse very interesting but we survived right there and the shields just turned back on so everything's fine and uh, we'll slow down a little bit I'm comfortable at about 70 I gotta clear those top those top sticks though we're gonna go in the green side we're following this guy in and right about here we go and what number are we? 44? There's 44. Good. It's an easy one. So I was going to say I was going to manually dock this time. Really, it didn't give me a choice. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see uh, how well my docking skills are. Well, remember to put the landing gear down. L for landing gear. And you're a little slow telling me that. And uh, let's see. My, my technique is generally... Dive, dive and scrape is uh, my technique. This is one of the easier pads, he says, before making it look difficult. And, uh, right, that's the circle we need to line up on. And uh, we'll just creep in here and uh, everything should be fine. You don't want to go down too steep. You don't want to hit too early. Um, you definitely want to slow down a little bit there and get right at the, there we go. Okay. All right, let's refuel. That was exciting, wasn't it? Um, let's go ahead and hit Starport Services. Mission board, let's turn in our goodies. Two performance enhancers. One, two, click. We delivered them all, we can complete this mission. 40 grand, not too shabby. All right. And then deliver six units of agri-medicines. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Complete. Only 31 grand. Those performance enhancers are worth a lot. Drug running. You know how it goes. More performance enhancers. Two more. Complete. And this will give me 39, almost 40 as well. Yep, so we're up to 112,785 credits, and uh, Executive Eldon Henry says, Sterling work, Commander Tolakram. I'd happily work with you again. All right. And so uh, if we hop out and we look at our, uh, our board here, oops, if we hit 2 and look at the board up here, um, we see a history of chat, and uh, we've been promoted, right? Uh, this is the, the permit issued. Oh, let's delete that. We've been promoted to mostly penniless, ding, erase, and promoted to, we're now a peddler, another ding, and another symbol. Uh, different symbols for the different ranks. There we go. Peddler. Right, we're well on our way. If we go over to four and we go back to the home page, you can see we're now a peddler in the trade rank. Combat rank is harmless, uh, explorer rank is aimless, and CQC rank will always be helpless because that's like an arena. PvP game that I will never play. Uh, and our balance is 112,000 with the rebuy cost on the ship now at 458 credits. And that is going to be it for now. Uh, that was an exciting landing. I'm glad that happened. Um, Auto dock isn't all it's cracked up to be. It works 95% of the time. Uh, when it fails, it usually fails in spectacular fashion. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.